Okay, here we go. Third game, Mines War. It's gonna be exciting, man. Uh, Vipers probably playing Desert Arabia, Desert Arabia. Oh, and it is Desert Arabia. Because on Desert Arabia, usually uh, they have like no wood and kind of hard maps to wall, you know. So it's really, really good for Viper that it's Desert Arabia. Actually, all of the games were Desert Arabia, weren't them? Yeah. Yes, they were. So hard to see the Green Arabia lately. To be honest, I kind of want to see a green map on Mongols. I want to see some Mangadai. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, but it's Mayans now. I know. Oh, I'm okay. saying for the next games. So. Okay. And yeah, you can see that Viper has a lot of wood on the left side. That's good for him, but his golds are on the front, on the right he's side. Got a, and they he's got are, a stone in back too. Oh yeah, he does, right. And he has uh, golds on the heel, so that's really bad for him. So... What he's gonna do is try to find the oh he just found the ship here. Nice. So he's gonna go straight to Viper base I think. To <laughs> Tingy's base, sorry. Yeah, he just found the ship. So that's interesting on the Meso Civilization War uh, is to try stealing something from your enemy, you know. Special oh shit. What's up? So What's the up? it is rated right now, dude, because you changed the rating, the rating is on. Oh really? Yes. Oh shit, can I... Sh oh shit, <laughs> what I do? <laughs> Wait a minute, what I do? G you gotta tell him, I think. Oh shit. Fuck, fuck, it's great. That game. Wh wh why did it change it? I didn't make anything. Yeah, you did, because you put rated 3000 to join, so it had to be oh. rated to have that on. Oh, he's saying. Yeah, just re just reset the mod match. I can't do that, man. <laughs> <laughs> just say that it was supposed to be a league game and or a tournament oh, okay. game and reset it after. Oh, eagle fight and Viper's gonna win. Oh, Viper lost. That's bad. That's really bad for him. He lost the uh, eagle fight. I was really sure he was gonna win that. Hmm. Viper must be punching the wall right now. Fuck no, you, VH. he doesn't react like that. He just thinks what's the next best move. Yeah, but he must be angry with me. <laughs> 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 I just messaged him like 10 seconds before the eagle fight. Anyway, uh, he's taking the first board right now. Uh, now he doesn't have the ego, so it's the same situation but with the opposite opposite players. Like Team lost the ego really fast on the first, the second game, and now on the third game. Uh, Viper lost it pretty fast, so he has no information at whatsoever from Team Space. I just used it whatsoever wrong, didn't I? No information whatsoever? No, that's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway... And you're gonna be a two, 2k English speaker here soon. Oh my god, my mom is really angry with the cats. <laughs> 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 She's saying, I, j I already fed you guys, shut the fuck up. Anyway, I think Viper is still gonna rush, you know, the Ego is... Um, team is probably gonna put the Ego inside the town center, you know, to uh, regenerate the HP. Uh, but I think they are both gonna rush. By the way, can I come back here and resume the game and take off the rating or something? Or that's not possible? Not, not in the middle of a game, but if, if you just told all three of them to resume lobby, then it wouldn't be rated. Okay. I don't think team will understand that. <laughs> yeah. I think it. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of funny if Viper wins this and then Tim loses points too. Yeah. It's just because I like to hear of Tim getting trolled. And I'm praying that Viper wins as well because if he wins, I win. If uh, if he lose, I lose. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So let's pray for Viper, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, we actually have something invested in this match now. Yes. You know, actually I really like this choice of strategy here by Viper. The only risk is he's going to be drushing blind. So if he totally mm -hmm. picks the wrong spot to go in, it's a big waste. Yes. But what he's able to do with this is he's able to set his building line out in front of his gold and protect it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but he needs to be careful because when you lose your ego, the enemy and the enemy of course knows that. Uh, he might try to rush, sneak villagers or something. And when you rush, you usually upgrade uh, field of wage a lot. Uh, 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 I mean, the other guy upgrades field of wage a lot earlier, you know. So if if teams decide to just wall, sneak villagers and do archers uh, on viper's base, it's gonna be really bad for him. Like, you're too used to do that a lot, you know. <laughs> I don't think if you remember that. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus! Almost the eagle dead. That was so gay, but anyway, let's keep going. The eagle almost died, and that's interesting because teams not did not regenerate the HP or the eagle. He almost lost the eagle, man. That was so close. And Viper, I think Viper is actually not gonna upgrade uh, Feudal Age so late. He's actually gonna do 10 minutes at the maximum, I think. Yeah, he's gonna do one more villager and upgrade. And yeah, he's gonna go aggressive here in Feudal. Mm -hmm. But, like, rushing with only 3 militias is really, really risky. And it's not, like, so effective. Oh, he's gonna do mo one more villager, okay. But I don't really like to rush when you when you, I lose my 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 ego, you know, or scout. Uh, oh, militia fight right here. Oh, so he did find his base. Mm -hmm. and but find vipers didn't attack right away, and now viper or er, Tim had his run. So I think that uh, Tim has the advantage right now. Oh, viper! Oh, viper could have uh, laned and killed the tears with the militias, but he didn't. I would, you know. <laughs> it's because you're a lame FTP. Yes, I'm real so wanna be. Anyway, nice maker from Viper right there. He just killed one militia and he's gonna just GP and go running through the map. He's probably gonna scout uh Chinese space to see what's going on on his map, you know. And he's just upgrading 60% to feudal. So he's probably gonna go archers feudal war. Yeah, yes. And that's the problem, he doesn't have the ego and he just lost all his militia, so he doesn't know if team is open or not, you know? So he's just gonna f uh, flush blindly. That's a really risky strategy. Are you there? Yeah, I'm just looking. Okay, so archer range is coming up and team is still not uh few though so I have no idea what's gonna happen but Viper is making an outpost on on the this area because he knows that he don't want uh team coming with sneak militias or sneak uh, villagers or archers or something and making a tower right here would be really bad for him. Anyway he's gonna take the deers and yeah he's gonna flush but uh I think maybe team is bold and he will be go straight castle. And that's really I bad think Tim is going to be going straight castle as well because he was out taking deer, so he's kind of doing a nice resource trade mm -hmm. there. And if he's going up later, I think he'll have a lot more in mass. Yeah, he just click uh, research it few though, so he probably has a lot more economy. So what Viper needs to do here is be really aggressive, but that's the problem. He has no information about Tim's map and what Tim is doing, so uh, he's gonna just attack blindly and he's doing skirmishers uh. so imagine if he goes attack uh team and team is stonewalled you know i would cry you know yeah i would be really sad if i went to the enemy and he was stonewalled and i was just doing skirmishers so what team uh, viper should be doing right now is try to go as fast as he can to team space and that's what he's gonna do but yeah, he doesn't have the... Oh, he did horse color actually. But he doesn't have blacksmith, so no plus one for him. And that it's actually interesting to do plus one before attacking the enemy, you know? Yeah, I bl of course it's great, but I think that... And he's he is doing it now, but mm -hmm. I did kind of like this uh, choice to do a little more eco first. Because I think he's he wants to go see what he's doing, but I think he's also assuming Tim is walling. Yes, and you <coughs> can see that team is actually not walling. Oh, nice and interesting fight here, but Viper needs what to GP. This? Oh, look at Viper's knee meeker right there, man. Crazy. Anyway, he needs to GP. Yeah, he just lost one to Archer there. 
he needs to do plus one he's doing it so yes that's interesting because Jim's not actually walled he just made the archer range on the top of he's the hill. He's gonna camp the hill. Yes. And oh, kill the eagle. Kill that motherfucking bitch. Oh, he just killed the eagle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was angry with that eagle, man. Because it's totally my fault. <laughs> anyway, he's he should he shouldn't go attack the top of the hill because team already has plus one and he's doing only skirmishers. So now now is the tricky part, you know. Do you think uh, Chim is upgrading? Um, his first choice of units was skirmishers. Okay, I... can, can you hear the sound? Yeah. Can? Yeah. Oh, okay, I need to close my door. My mom is cooking. Just one second, guy. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Did I miss so something? Tim did well, it seems like, oh, but he does he... have an opening in the front of his base, but he's camping it, so yeah. it is effectively a wall. Yes, he's probably all walled on the sides and just uh, open on the front page. Uh, <laughs> front page, no, on <laughs> on the front, and he's just gonna camp with skirmishers there. So that's bad for Viper because there's no way he can be able to attack Tim's economy, right? Yep. And I think Tim is not actually going castle because he has the defense upgrade as well. So it's gonna yep. be feel the war. But that's a, that's the problem. Viper can't actually can't actually attack teams here. So uh, I and I think that this is gonna be a bit of a psychological war because Tim or Viper likes action. He wants to keep the game going. Mm -hmm. Tim is just gonna sit there and try and manipulate those battles until he has enough of an advantage where he can go and dictate the action. Mm -hmm. And actually Viper needs to be careful because uh, if Tim succeeds to finish that wall on the front he can easily go attack uh, Vipers, you know? Especially yes. on this area on the wood he would kill a lot of lichers. So Viper, what Viper could do is try to wall. I would wall this map, you know. He could wall right here and right here. He would be safe on the left side, you know, right here as well. So, I don't really like to play open when the other enemies are walled. And that's what he's gonna do, but that's just too late. The archers are coming, and that's that was a, I was predicting, you know. And yep. yeah, that's pretty bad for him now because uh, his army is kind of far. Well, he's gonna chase that one villager. Mm -hmm. So he might. Oh, maybe not. No, there is an archer there. Yeah, he's going straight to the wood, but now Viper has a tower there, and that was a perfect timing for Viper because the tower will. F f yeah. Oh my God, Viper, go inside the in the top of the hill. That's pretty good. He's gonna take. He's gonna trap the army. He's gonna take down the army. I think, man, this is really good for Viper. That was like the mo the perfect timing, you know. Yep. <coughs> Oh man, this is Mel delicious, man. I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, all this army going down. a lot of losses there. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Team's probably upgrading Castle, but that was not good for him. He should have done a GP right here and tried to flee. Uh, yeah, Viper's gonna here. be going up in just a second also. Yeah, he just clicked. Oh uh, no, he didn't. Oh, right now, yeah. So that was really, really good for Viper. Even he's totally open and such, but he's gonna finish that wall. Yeah, he's gonna finish that wall on the sides, and he's gonna just be worried about that area right here. He's, well, he's gonna be able to place a castle there. He's gonna be able to drop a couple castles here shortly. Oh yeah, I forgot they are Mayans. Yeah, so he's going for Plumes. That's interesting. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> I think Chin's probably not doing more army. Maybe he's go going for Plumes as well. That's the problem. Team, uh, Viper has no uh, information about team space, so he doesn't know what team's gonna do. Either he's castling or he's still doing army. You know. That's that's why I think losing the I think is bad. He's gonna. I think Tim's gonna play defensive and um, do kind of a macro game and try and advance fast. The thing is, is like when Viper starts to get his plumed archers. Mm -hmm. He is going to try and put him on the edges of his base and get into the economy a bit. He might try and push in the front with a siege, but I'm kind of nervous for to see 
who does what next. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm wondering if Tim will actually try and play an attacking game with Viper. I mean, there's a lot of hills in between these guys right now. Yeah. There could be a lot of really cool micro wars, but I don't think um, I don't think we're gonna see as many of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe Tim was taking stone. Maybe he will do plumes, but I think that actually favors Viper. Yes. But the Viper's gonna wall that one side or the side to the left, and then he's gonna castle that other goal to the right, and then he's gonna have his whole economy protected. Yes, but actually, I think Viper uh, Chin should do some lessons to Viper on walling because this is like the worst wall ever, <laughs> you know, the ugliest wall ever. It was so easy to walk here to here to the wood and here and here, but instead he yep. just I made like the longest wall ever. <laughs> I think it was partly because he just didn't think about it with uh, that black spot there, the fog of war. Oh, okay. Yeah, really ugly. Well, anyway... I think we're going to see a second castle go on that side anyway, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, a castle right here? He could have done right here. Yeah, I don't know why he did it there. Yeah, because he's al he already has a tower right there. But anyway, he's going to attack with the crossbows. But that's the problem because Tim probably has a castle right there on his base or a magna or something because he knows that Viper has a lot of army, you know. So yeah, and that's why uh, Viper made the staggered formation to prevent prevent some magnus to hit him. Oh, he just went back from line formation anyway. So yeah, now we're gonna see what's going on on Tim's base. Viper is going to attack. And he already built the castle, he's going for plummet and it's gonna be a boom war I think. Boom and plummet. Depois My mom is saying that the lunch is ready, that's bad. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> castle right here. Yep, there's the castle. I don't think nice that here. there's much uh Viper can do with this army, you know? <coughs> and I think if I if Tim knows that he should just boom and then go up. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it smells so good. Seriously. <laughs> oh, really, really uh, smart sneak attack from teams right there on the crossbows. Really smart from him. Skilling all the villagers. Wow. Yes, that's bad for Viper. He lost some, some important villagers right there. Some good man, you know, he lost some That's good man. That's actually nearly perfect micro by Tim. He got almost all the archers he wanted, or uh, almost all the villas he wanted, but then he also stopped right on the perfect spot in front of the town center. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. Tim is uh, hitting Viper economy, but there is no way uh, Viper can do the same thing. So that that's a really bad thing for Viper, you know. I see why uh, Viper decided not to put that castle up on that goal on the hill. He was always planning to put the town center there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's gonna do another town center on the right side. That's 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 weird, man. That's four town centers. Wow. Yes, so many town centers. Like he has no information about the sides of the map, so he doesn't know if uh, there is relics or goals or stone on the sides. So that's why it's really important that you always try to. Uh, Explore the sides of the map, right? Yes. Also, taking relics on Meso Civilizations War is uh, really good. Uh, taking as fast as you can. Like you have two relics really close to y to you, and if you take it right now, for example, when you reach Castle, uh, the relics will will uh, make you have like uh, I don't know one more thousand of gold or something like that. And Tim is hiding his base so much. He could get that one to the left of Tim's base too. Yes. Like right out in front of his army. So th that's the thing when you wall, you you c you lose the control of the map, you know. You just you wall yourself up. Yeah, yeah you, you're you stuck inside of a arena or something. Wall in the mall. But the, the 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 positive point of doing that is that your enemy can't really affect your economy. So your economy is probably gonna be better than your enemy, you know. Especially if you can hit uh, his economy and he, he can't hit yours. So that's that's that makes a difference, and that, that's why I think. King might uh, Imperial Age first, you know? He is gonna. Mm -hmm. I'm sure of it. He's gonna go up and he's gonna do Eagle Warriors. Do you think so? Yeah. I, I don't think he's so. Using, he's gonna use that castle and he's gonna do pl er, the plus 40 hit points and he's gonna do Eagle Warriors first. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, that that could work. Especially if he do... Oh, he's doing a lot of pull mids. 
doing a lot of movements. Maybe he's not going for egos. Oh, but the maybe, problem, yeah. yeah, the problem is I was wrong. Uh huh. The problem of doing egos is that you you need to kill really fast. You need to do like a really effective raiding, because if you if you don't succeed to do that, uh, it's just not gonna work uh, in the late game. You know, plummets just kill too easy. Egos on the late game. Anyway, Viper has a lot of army, and he doesn't have ballistics. He neither. He doesn't even have a uh, uh, university right now, so there's nothing much he can do. <laughs> He isn't putting up the second castle yet, is he? No, he just made a, a workshop. And he just uh, asked Team Masters of Arena? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's Masters it's of they Arena. They say that my uh, connection is wavering, my sound is bad. Hang on, let me try and What do you mean? This. Your sound is bad? Oh no, they, they say my sound is, my uh, Skype sound. Like it's bugging and delaying or something? Just, just mine, my sound, like the vo my voice. Oh, okay. So he's gonna rush this area, but I think he should be focusing on going per which There's no way he will be able to do much damage on this area. There, there's nothing much here to do, you know. Like there is no gold uh, stone here, so this is a, a spot that doesn't make like a big difference on the game. And yeah, Magna right there, that's bad for Viper. It should be... Oh, Jesus, should you be so much damage on these archers? That was not good for him. Yeah, that was kind of a weird attack from Vipers, you know? Now, now team has a big advantage. And even that he, he lost this gold right here, he still has another one right there. And he probably has another one on the right side of the map, so I think Chim has the advantage on this game. And I think the yes. the, the stone walling make the, made the difference. Viper's population is still really healthy. Yeah, but Chim just yeah, GG. Chim just reached Imperial Age. Okay, here we go. My points. Goodbye, points. <laughs> GG. Yes, man. Team played smartly, but kind of lame. But that's effective. It doesn't matter. It's tournament, you know. Mm -hmm. So really smart from team. Yeah, two to one. Team is in the lead. That's really interesting because now Viper needs to kill all of the games.